In this part of the tutorial, we're going to be focusing on actually creating the cylinder that you see here. That's going to be used to wrap the animated material around. So it's going to have proper UV mapping. It's going to be open-ended, right? So the top and bottom is not going to be there. And you can see how this texture wraps around fully without any sort of problems or weird distortion, right? So, and then when, once we apply the animated material, it ends up looking something like, like this, which is really nice, right? So to do that, we're going to have Pro Builder opened up and we're going to create a new shape. And we're going to create a cylinder, of course. We want enough number of sides so that it's not obvious that it's too low poly. And height, everything else seems okay. So we're going to go ahead and build a cylinder. And so right now it's got this issue where, you know, it's got all of these segments, which is no good for us. So we're going to hit, first of all, get rid of these top and bottom parts, and then we're going to work on these segments. So we're going to select these faces. And let me just zoom this in. Delete these faces. Go to the bottom. Select these as well. Delete these faces. So we've got our open-ended cylinder. Next, of course, we'll, we'll want to fix this repetition right here. So for that, we can open up the UV editor. Select this. And we can auto-stitch by holding control and then clicking on the next face. Right? It doesn't really matter which face it is. Just go ahead and control-click through every single one of them. Okay, so yeah, that's good. Uh, it's still got some issues, but we'll fix that very shortly. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of these. And once they're all selected, I'm just going to hit Fit UVs so that they all map correctly and basically fit themselves into the area around the cylinder. And then I'm going to go ahead, select only the top parts so that we can fit them vertically. And then finally just hold control while I drag them to the top and that way they fit the entire texture area. So this should now be ready to apply any of the old materials that we're using. So let's just test it out with some of the materials that I had handy. So there you go. That seems to be good. And that's it for this part.